Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut and edited no bull video. It's the second part when I'm reviewing my Philips pressure cooker. Here's the full assembled model. I'm pretty happy with the product and I already put my review on productreview.com.au. So this is practical run um, of experience and how it works and what to expect from it. Just mind you, um, I use pressure cooker to cook all what I call unusual items. Uh, I do follow um, partially, not completely carnivore diet, so I try to eat um, balanced amounts of uh, muscle and non-muscle meat. So um, as part of uh, cooking non-muscle meat, I cook uh, organ meats and today I'll cook Ukrainian uh, traditional dish as a beef or ox tongue. So it's pretty easy recipe. What we're using today is a Phillips pressure cooker. Just lift the lid up, um, pretty straightforward. I've got some clean bowl inside, there's nothing inside. Um, what I'll do, I'll place two um, beef tongues inside. So one and then um, another. After that, I will get uh, salt. So um, I think um, half of tablespoon is enough for one tongue, but because we're going to doing two, I will do um, um, one full tablespoon of salt. And now we've got uh, bay leaves. Bay leaves are actually quite important. They give you a lot of smell and taste. Uh, recipe say put uh, two or three. I put probably five or six. Um, you cannot spoil your dish with bay leaves. It's really yummy um, taste and smell. And um, then peppercorns, um, probably five or six. They won't add much of the um, spiciness, but uh, really nice taste to it. Ukrainian original recipe also asks to cut uh, and peel carrot and put carrot in and uh, onion. Both of those create phenomenal taste, but as part of my diet, I, I try not to consume uh, vegetables that uh, will turn into sugars while cooking. So today's recipe is simple. Tongue, in my case two tongues, a couple of bay leaves, a um, couple of uh, peppercorns, and what is important is amount of water we put in. So we put water to cover beef tongue and then one to 1.5 centimeter on top of that. Uh, so when it's pressurized, uh, to give it the opportunity to water uh, still cover the meat. So that's what it is now. Um, probably a little bit more. And just close that lid. Uh, twist it. Close, set your seal on sealed, seal is on top, and turn pressure cooker on. When you turn it on for the first time, um, it will be giving you many options. I'll go straight to the pressure cook and keep pressing until it goes into meat poultry, right? When it's done, uh, I click on cooking time and minutes start flashing. That's the only grief with the pressure cooker here with the Philips because other brands allow you to choose infinite number. Um, and the Philips only allow you to choose up to 59 minutes. So if your recipe say one hour and a half minutes, you need to come back and reset it after first uh, set is done. So two tongues probably would take around uh, 50 to 55 minutes uh, pressure cook. And I'll set it on to 55 minutes and click start. What it does, it goes straight into heating mode and the dial keep kind of running around until what's inside is half boiling and creates a pressure. When pressure is created, <coughs> excuse me, when pressure is created, then seal will be sealing the whole environment and creating pressure and your indicator will go to uh, maintain pressure mode and this is where timer that you put in for cooking will start. If you need to leave premises, I don't recommend that <clears throat> during the cooking, but do not worry, when it finished cooking, it will 
go into warm up mode so it won't depressurize or anything but it will stop cooking so you won't overcook your items and that's a, one of the great safety features of the of the Philips and other pressure cookers anyhow the tongues are in uh, the pressure cooker is set I'll see you in 55 minutes